This is $250. With this money you could get a new microphone, buy some lights or even some external hard drives if you run out of space. But a guy named Casey Neistat says that what you'll learn in his filmmaking and storytelling course is also worth $250. And to me the course was actually worth it. I'm not saying that the course was objectively worth the price, but only that it was worth it to me. I remember the joy that I had in the beginning uh, of the course when I saw another filmmaker film the same scene more than once, take different shots, not being sure if he would use all of them, and also struggling to formulate his thoughts in front of the camera just as I do. It really helped relax a little bit my perfectionist side. And this is, I think, the main uh, subjective reason why I think that uh, the course was worth it. I had to stop filming yesterday because it got too dark and it looked like I was doing a documentary about, about haunted houses. But now let's talk about the structure of the class. It consists of two parts. The first one is called Filmmaking and Storytelling Fundamentals. The second part is called Cinematography and the Complete Toolkit. The first part is from the 1st till the 15th day and, and the video lessons from the second part can only be accessed after the 16th day. After each video lessons there is also a project for you to upload your progress, to share it with the, uh, your peer group which consists of 20 people and if they are cooperative enough then they will leave feedback on them. For both parts you can either stick to the plan and watch all the video lessons on their due day or you can watch all of them on the first day. That's up to you. The same is also true for the project. However, uh, if you want uh, your peers to give you feedback on your projects, it's better to upload them on their due day, otherwise they will be concentrated in a different part of the project and they aren't that likely to give you constructive feedback. Now that you know about the structure of the class, let's talk about the content and my experience on more detail. In this course, Casey shows us how to film the movie from start to finish. In the beginning, he talks about how to generate the idea and then how to develop it on his mind before he sets off to film the movie. When he's shooting the movie, he also explains what he's doing, uh, what's on his mind, what his goal is, how each scene is gonna make the story move forward. And then after he's done filming, he goes ahead and starts editing. He goes through the entire process of editing the movie. Uh, he starts with the music in the beginning, how he picks the music to match the vibe of the story. Uh, and then how he joins all the scenes together to create the story and also how he makes all the cuts in each scene for the story to have a natural flow. The first thing that Casey says is that ideas are overemphasized when it comes to telling stories. He says that it doesn't matter how simple an idea you have, if you find that thing interesting, the chances are someone else will too. And then he goes ahead to explain how his most viewed video is one when he talks about an airplane seat. The second thing that I learned is that he says that great cinematography will never make up for a poorly told story. So maybe you won't know yet how to use the camera correctly, but if you have a great story, then the cinematography is less important than that. The story is and always will be king. Lesson number three. When filming a movie, know that it contains three acts. A beginning, a middle and an end. Um, when you know the story that you want to tell, you start with the first act where you um, introduce the audience to the story. You can start by showing them where you are. And then on the second end you develop the story through a climax where you have some kind of conflict and that gets resolved. The third and last act is, is the ending of the story and that's a very important point, uh, Casey says. It is the point of the movie where everything must come together. He says that the ending is a punctuation mark in the end of a completely form formulated thought. Um, that the third act is where you will know if you have a story or not. I can see very well right now because the sun is shining straight to my eyes. But I will continue with lesson number four. In Casey's words, having intent with the themes that underscore the ideas that are told in your movies, in your stories, makes them much more powerful. They take them from being just yours to something everyone can relate to. When filming the movie, try to have general uh, themes that underlay your story so that 
even if people don't care about one specific thing that you're talking about, they can still relate to the struggle or other emotions that each story or each process goes through. And the lesson number five is a very simple one. This is more motivating. Is that you should know that the video that you made today is better than the video that you made last week. And the video that you will make next week will be better than the one that you are making today. So while I was trying to transfer the videos from the camera to the computer, uh, I somehow managed to corrupt one of the files, which was the rest of the video, and that's why I will do it from here. The first complaint, or let's say is better advice, is to not expect a Peter McKinnon type of cinematography course from Casey. He will teach you very simple camera techniques, like how to put the camera in different spots uh, and film the same scene multiple times, so that people think there are multiple cameras involved. So he will communicate uh, through his cin cinematography with the viewers, but he won't amaze them. And if that's your goal, then you will be disappointed. On the other hand, I know that m many cinematographers think that their job is to assist the story uh, and not to be noticed by the viewers, so maybe that's uh, not even a bad thing after all. The second thing that I hated was during the course, uh, when Casey m said multiple times, uh, that he couldn't articulate an idea that he was trying to explain and that felt really disappointing because uh, that's exactly the point of a course for someone to articulate things that you don't even know exist so uh, bear that in mind for some cases uh, there are better professors out there who can explain the theory to the smallest detail the third complaint is about the pacing of the course uh, as I mentioned earlier, one part will last 15 days and during that part I lost interest per personally because it only takes me 5 to 6 days to finish a video and then I continue to f uh, film other videos and just uploading the projects without much interest for feedback because I al had already finished the product. So if monthly managed to find a way to make uh, some professionals get involved in giving feedbacks in everyone's uh, videos that already sounds too good to be true, but that would have really improved my experience with the course. So to wrap it all up, except from the YouTube tutorials, I didn't really have any other teacher to student uh, experience uh, when it comes to the filmmaking stuff. I also never worked on a project with some other filmmaker, and that is why I think like this course was really helpful to me, and knowing what I know now, I would still take it again. But I wouldn't take Casey's course if I had uh, learned from another teacher already or if I had worked on a project with another filmmaker uh, because I think that the lessons that he is teaching on this course I could also take them by analyzing his YouTube vlogs and films. So feel free to leave a comment down below if you have any other questions. Just two days ago I found another course and registered on it. Um, it's called Tomorrow's Filmmakers. I heard good reviews about it but uh, I'm not sure if they were sponsored or not so after I, I finish it myself I will make my own review on the course and if you don't want to miss that make sure to leave a subscribe to the channel and I will see you on the future videos.